What a morning. Oh, it started off so well. And then I was locked out of my online banking and couldn't get in. And I was like, I need to go and draw money out today. So I was like, I don't want to go to the cash point and then not be able to use my bank card. So I rang up the bank and ended up on the phone for, am I going to get through there? Yeah. Yeah. That's a mosquito in my car. Well, you're not welcome here. That was a mosquito in my car that my car can pay me has just squashed and I haven't got time to clean it up. I've got to go because, anyway, yeah, I was on the phone to Santander for about half an hour, 40 minutes. It's all sorted. Apparently the wrong passcodes have been put in, but I have face recognition on my phone. So I was like, I don't know. Anyway, it's sorted. I've come up with a little idea. So today's my mum's birthday. It's the 1st of November today. And my mum would be 74 today. 74 and you know when I think of it it's very hard to picture what you would look like at 74 because this will be the 25th birthday that we've celebrated with Alta so you know we celebrate for her basically and it got me thinking at Christmas time I always have the pot made for my mum and dad's grave and I thought I really want to try floristry i just want to try it to see if i can do it i want to learn obviously i want to learn properly but i'm going to give it a try and i'm going to try and make those floristry pots that i buy for christmas i'm going to go back to my vlogmas videos last year and here's a little secret i never watch any of my own videos ever i just don't like to watch them I get really, really embarrassed when I switch one on. But I'm going to go back and find the one from Christmas where I shared the pots and see if I've done any close-ups of them or anything like that. And I'm going to have a go at making my own. So we're going to Whittington's now. You're going to see this video tonight as well. So I'm cutting it a bit fine because it's quarter past 11. But we're going to go to the Floristry Wholesale, which is Whittington's. They have amazing picks and pots and all that type of stuff i'm just not sure on the size to fit in the actual headstones so i'm hoping that they will have the grave pots in whittington so i can use them as reference for the pot we're going to go and see if i can pick up any little picks as soon as i get in there i'll know it was like gray ribbon and there's some baubles in it and then some like frosty picks but as for the rest i've no idea but i've got a, a vision in my mind of what i want i think i'll do gold ones because the writing on my mum and dad's headstones gold so i'm gonna do gold anyway i'm just rambling now let's go to whittington's and see what i can get for the christmas pots it's november we're allowed to speak about christmas now it's november it's the first of november full swing and christmas mode just getting in the mood in fact i think i'm going to put a christmas playlist on in my car Look at these for £3.89. Are they not the most prettiest ice skates you have ever seen? And look! These ones are £2.39. Oh my gosh. There is so much stuff. Look at him. Is he not the cutest little gingerbread? There is literally so much stuff here, honestly. Everything is just gorgeous. It's obviously wholesale, so some things you've got to buy in bulk, like the pine cones are one from mum and dad's grave. I might have to buy in bulk, but if you're just looking for lovely little Christmassy decorations, they've got look at that. Oh, you could fill that with little presents or pine cones or little logs of wood. That the cutest. Love these reds. Love them so many picks and 
Christmas tree fillers, poinsettias. I've got these in gold. I'll show you what I've bought anyway, but I've got these in gold to do the pots. Oh, look at them. £4.79. Oh my gosh. <gasps> these are 4 99 but they are big. They lovely. Look at these. Oh, look at him. Oh my gosh. Ten ninety pounds sixty nine. They are. Oh, thank you. Thanks so much. One pound sixty nine. Oh, I'm so tempted, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to be. Oh, look at those. One pound sixty nine. They have every shade of pink you could possibly want. But these are one pound sixty nine as well. Oh, so cute. Come here to Bold Heath to see what lovely Christmas decorations they've got and to make us feel all Christmassy. Oh, I see Christmas lights and lots of them. Oh, this look lovely. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, they've got lots and lots. It's quite big here as well, so as you can... Oh, look at that! Look at that red and cream tree! Oh, I'm excited! Oh, there's so much stuff. Those owls! <laughs> oh! £4.99. They're cute. Look at these. Four ninety nine, on like a candlestick or a candle holder on the fireplace. They'd look lovely. Those two either side, they'd look nice. Oh, look at that! Isn't that lovely? How stunning is that tree? Look at the little gold train track around it. Oh, the colours. Touch of elegance this is. Oh, it's so nice. Love it. 
and then this side they've put all cluster lights on the top of the pergola which looks absolutely lovely love that Jingle, 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 jingle all the way Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh It is much later, it's 25 past 6 And I'm aware that the light is very bright behind me Hang on Oh, oh, well, no <laughs> Now it's pitch black I'll just show you quickly what I bought from Whittington's before I start Take us, we'll be starving I got, what's this called? This is called wet block. Wet, wet block? No, it's called something else. Well, wet block. <laughs> it's for <laughs> these. So I've got these pots. I'm just going to cut a shape house, pop it in to be able to secure the bits of Christmas fair and the picks in place. So we've got those. I hope you enjoyed having a little look around Whittington's and Bell Teeth I went to. Christmas displays were gorgeous. So pretty. So I've got two like snow frosted pine cones. I'll obviously cut them down and use them. These are just for the pots, that's all. I got I think they were 39 pence each, I think. Am I in focus? I've got a feeling I might be in focus. Now these were £1.89, they're like a champagne gold. So I've made sure to stick with the same, now we're not focused. <laughs> I've made sure to use the same colour gold throughout the pots. So I've got two of those. I'll obviously cut them down because there won't need to be so much in them. So I'll probably just like cut little pieces off to pop in and make them look all pretty. I'm hoping so anyway. I got one of these because there is a lot of gold holly on these. Now there's no price on this so I'm not sure how much it was but I wanted the little holly pieces to be able to pop in as well. So it's got a little bit more gold. Look how lovely they are. They're so nice. I'm going to be full of glitter. Oh, I did get four of those, but I didn't need to get four. But I got four, just in case. This is my first attempt, so in case I cut them down too short, I've got a spare for backup. And I also got this ribbon. And it's just like a, like a Hessian style. But it's got like Noel, Merry Christmas, Hope, Joy. And I just thought that would be really nice for putting inside of the display. Just to give it a little bit of extra texture. And then I'll obviously get the real Christmas tree. What are they called? You know, the little fluff. I'm not sure what they're called. And if you're a florist or you know what they're called, please let me know because... I don't want to use like a Christmas tree one. I want to use real fair Christmas tree pieces. I just have no idea where to get them. So if you know, I would love to know. I also did pick this up and, and it's a Christmas decoration and I know I wasn't supposed to buy a Christmas decoration, but I couldn't resist these. They are like snow tipped, huge pine cones, but I've just got them for that bowl at Christmas. I'm gonna put it on the island and I just thought the wood and the snow and, and the massive, they are so big and they weigh £8.29. So out of my, what is it, £114 budget, I bought those. I, just, I didn't buy anything else. There's my empty bag, I couldn't resist. I don't even know where my receipt is. Let me see if my receipt's in my bag and see if I can fix this camera. <laughs> That's a little bit better, isn't it? You've got a lovely display of the dishes in the sink I've got no sense of direction so I don't know where they are but I did go to Bold Heath also but I didn't get these from Whittington's I got those from Bold Heath Garden Centre and I spent £5.37 and that was for the two Madagascar grow pots and I got a bamboo drinking cup for Lee to take to work with them so that was why I spent £5 in Bold Heath and then in Whittington's 
I spent the Glitter Holly Bush in Champagne was £3.89 and the ribbon was £5.99, the wet block was £4.29 and I spent £36, 66 pence. So we didn't do too badly. Now, I'll have a lot more decorations and a lot more wet block. I know that's called something else, but we'll call it wet block. I'll have a lot over, so, you know, I can make an extra one or I can keep them and do some lovely ones for Mother's Day and Father's Day. There is so much, are we calling this foliage? <laughs> there is so much, like, I won't need, I'll only use a tiny bit of it, but I can keep it in a box in the loft especially for doing these pots for my mum and dad's grave, which is nice. So that was everything that I got. I don't know where he's put his cup. He's put it somewhere, but it's just a, a little cup with a lid on for him to take to work. And that's everything that I bought from Whittington's. I hope that you enjoyed having a little look around. I know this video is only a short one today, but it's been a lovely day. It's been really, really nice. We actually walked into Whittington's and they were playing one of my mum's favourite songs by Phil Collins, the minute we walked in and I was like, well, that's a sign. Then on the way home from Bold Heath Garden Centre, I couldn't find my phone. I had no idea where it was and it slipped down into the seat. So to make sure that I had my phone and it was with me, I connected the media into the car, you know, like, I don't know, like music, whatever you call that way, the media comes on and you can put like a Spotify playlist on. I put that on to check that my phone was in the car and it recognised it straight away. It said Tony on the dashboard, so I was like, I know my phone's in the car. It then played an old playlist from Apple Music, which I haven't used for years. I couldn't even tell you the last time I checked that and it started playing another Phil Collins song. And our Zoe, who was with me, turned around and said, they're definitely signs. So it's been a lovely day. It's been very, very nice. And I'm now home. We're going to have something nice for tea. And yeah, it's been a lovely day. I hope that you enjoyed having a little look around. Thank you so much for being here and for the orders for the advent calendar for Christmas. It's sold out. And I'm honestly, I'm blown away. Nah, 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 nah. I'm blown away by the fact that you just love the advent calendar as much as I do. I... <sighs> I weren't exhausted at all when I was making that advent calendar. It brought me nothing but joy. I loved every single minute of it. I had a pile ready for Royal Mail to collect yesterday and a pile is left today. And I've got another little pile down by the fireplace and my house smells so Christmassy. I'm going to miss the boxes when they go, but I just hope that you love them and you enjoy them. And I cannot wait to start Vlogmas with the advent calendar and... Yeah, it's going to be so nice. I did hold back. Oh, I held back. I've kept six advent calendars. I don't know whether you're going to see them because it's quite blown out, but I've kept six for the giveaway. So that will come in a week or two. We'll do a lovely little giveaway where six people can win the advent calendar and enjoy it for Christmas. So that's it for tonight. I'm now going to sign off because I need to get this uploaded to YouTube. Have an amazing night and... I'm not going to promise to see you tomorrow because I'm in work tomorrow. Plus, I will be playing catch up with housework and stuff like that. But, you know, I'll film it. I'll film it and it can be a great cleaning video to give you some motivation. But I'll probably see you the day after tomorrow, which will be today's Tuesday, Thursday. I will upload a video on Thursday and tomorrow I'll just relax, go to work, do the cleaning and then see you Thursday. Have a nice night, everyone. See you soon. Bye for now.